hey there. Recently, I've had the same question sent to me many times in quick succession. And it's a question that comes through now and again over the years. So I thought this shows there's enough interest for me to dedicate some time to answering it in depth. The query is, what do you do in your spare time? Now, in order to answer this with some clarity, I need to tell you a little bit about my life. My life is very routine. I wake up at seven o'clock in the morning. I go to sleep at 10.30 in the evening. This is a practice that I've kept to since my teenage years. And it's only through this uh, kind of routine behavior, I find that I can fit everything I want to in every day and that I'm fully recovered and full of energy so I can enjoy life and really engage with each and everything I do. So when that alarm goes off at seven o'clock, I immediately get out of bed and the first thing I do is shower. I start with a, a warm shower whereby I wash my body and then I move it to a cold shower to clear my mind and to remove any negative influences. At this point, I'm starting to get into a focused state of mind. So when I get out, I'm dry myself and I perform body brushing and I start to move towards a beautiful place in nature for my meditation. And this is in a state of silent awareness. I'm already starting to heighten my focus and get into a meditative state of being. When I get there, I normally use uh, my beads for my meditation. I wrap them around my wrist. I perform some stretches and I'll sit and I'll practice my hermetic arts from that moment till about eight o'clock. I'll then return home and I will have my breakfast and I may, if I've got some spare time, answer some messages on Facebook or on my personal email address. From nine o'clock to 12 o'clock, it's work time and I fully engage with my work. I am the general manager of a publishing company and I try to continually improve what I'm doing so that the books we produce are of greater benefit to others and so that the company is more healthy and so that I improve myself as a person. Come 12 o'clock, I will then exercise till 12.45 and I'll lift weights and it's a different body part every day and I use the breath and the vital force and this is a daily joy for me. In the remaining 15 minutes of my lunch hour, I will have my lunch and then it's back to work from one o'clock through to 5.30. Now I don't let my work continue much longer than 5.30 unless there's an emergency. My goal is to use excellence and skillfulness and harmony as a means to achieve my goals. So if I want to get more out of my working life or achieve more, I'm looking to work with wisdom rather than to put in more energy. From 5.30 to 7 o'clock, I've got uh, time to finish answering those messages and to have my evening meal. Then from 7 o'clock to 8 o'clock, it's hermetic practice, it's meditation again. And then from eight o'clock onwards, I have free time. And I feel fulfilled because during the day I've given my all to both my path in life, my employment, to my exercise, to my nutrition. And I look for what my heart desires. And normally it's peace and it's time with my fiance. I like to spend time in nature. So many people are so tuned in to television and to other forms of media that they know what's going on 
in their favourite soap opera and on the news, but they don't see the cycles of life around them. They walk past trees and they don't know the names of those trees or anything about that tree. They don't see the changes or new things growing near them. There are cycles of life and animals just waiting to be observed and they don't get a chance to because their senses are blocked up with all this drama and loudness. So for me, this is the real world I want to engage with. I want to see the constellations and stars in their movements through the sky. I want to watch the life of the animals and the insects near me and to learn from them. I like to play the Japanese flute, the shakuhachi, and improve my skills. I, I spend quite a bit of time reading, and the reading is always dedicated to my next step in my path, my adventure of life. So I thirst for time reading, and for me it's very inspirational, and it leads me to artistic and exciting endeavours. I don't seek out social contact, but it often seeks out me, and I love it when people come to visit me and I try to be a, the best host I can and help them with whatever their next step is, to be a force of good and harmony in their life. Sometimes my fiancé will bring me into other aspects of her life. She's a, a historian and gives talks and goes to investigate special things, and this leads to me travelling and spending time around different people. And I think this is very good. It keeps me in the world and it keeps me engaged with other matters which are not so close to home. I also like to practice physical pursuits and martial arts, climbing, running. And Every year I choose a different skill which will take me out of my comfort zone. Something which is opposite to my nature, something which I know I find really hard. And I learn to savour and enjoy that skill because I believe that practising what you find hardest brings balance. These are the things which are daily joys to me. And I hope they're an inspiration or of interest to you. Until next time, let's let every word, thought and action count.